I'm Doug Doyle with The Art of the Story. A new play about a young Ella Fitzgerald is running through July 7th at the Theater for the New City in Manhattan. WBGO's John Kalish has more. Ella Fitzgerald was known as the First Lady of Song and the Queen of Jazz, but not many people know of her troubled teenage years. She was 15 years old when a judge in Westchester County sent her to live with what were then considered incorrigible girls. Why don't I know about this and why doesn't the world know about this? Because that's crazy. That's David McDonald, the playwright behind Ella the Ungovernable. Actually, Fitzgerald's time at the New York State Training School for Girls came to light in 1996, eight days after the great singer died. The New York Times published a story by investigative reporter Nina Bernstein. Here's Bernstein in a 2017 podcast produced for the PBS show American Masters. I think that she didn't want the institution to be in any way associated with her success or to associate herself with it. The reformatory's 88 black residents lived in two of the most crowded and dilapidated brick cottages. Here's a scene from the play in which the teenaged Fitzgerald meets her roommate Alice. What's your name? Ella. Ella Fitzgerald. Where are you from? Well, Virginia, by way of Yonkers, by way of Harlem. You? Georgia, by way of Brooklyn. The roommate Alice is a fictional character. The playwright has taken much poetic license in his telling of this tale. MacDonald has the girls in the training school living behind bars in cells, which was not the case. The training school's celebrated choir was segregated, so black girls weren't allowed in. Yet, in MacDonald's play, Fitzgerald's audition so impresses the choir director that she's accepted into the choir. In real life, Fitzgerald ran away from the training school, but in the play, a school doctor and an activist from the NAACP arrange for her to escape. This play is a work of fiction. There's evidence of this or that, but the actual story, the story of Ella and her best friend Alice being incarcerated together, the four best girlfriends who are there together, who are observing the beatings and the rapes, that is, I guess you would call it speculative fiction. The story that's told in this play is one of resilience and perseverance how Ella, no matter what circumstances she's been thrusted into, she continues to hold on to her light. Michelle Baldwin is co-directing Ella the Ungovernable and also plays Fitzgerald's mother Temperance, who is known as Tempe. Things happen to you and you have to accept it that this is life and you have to move on and keep going. And it takes a very special person to be able to put all that in the rear view mirror. There was a lot to put in that rear view mirror. The play portrays the guards as rapists, but there's no indication of this in the historical record. I'm John Kalish. And that's the art of the story. I'm Doug Doyle, WBGO News.